very good morning students today we are going to discuss about um, some practical applications of uh, design of combination circuit okay so you we know already steps for the design of combination circuits are the first step you have to decide the number of inputs and outputs based on the statement given statement correct and we have to form the truth table uh, we have to get the simplified expression using k map and then we have to implement using logic diagram now this is a question a uh, figure shows a diagram for an automobile alarm circuit used to detect certain undesirable conditions uh, the three switches are used to indicate the status of the door by the driver seat the ignition and the headlights respectively design the logic circuit with these three switches as input so that the alarm will be activated whenever either of the following conditions exist okay now uh, we have to what is the first step we have to decide the number of inputs and outputs from the logic diagram itself we came to know that we are having three inputs and one outputs the output is nothing but alarm is activated let us have the variables or uh, a for door correct so we'll consider this a for door uh, and then we'll consider ignition no for ignition we'll consider it as uh, for b okay and for lights we consider this as uh, uh, c okay so we have three input variables a b c a corresponds to door b for ignition c for lights now from the diagram itself we can decide the a value whether it is 0 or 1 correct so when door or when door is closed you see the closed one is connected to ground correct so when door is closed a value is 0 open is connected to the plus 5 volt correct when door is opened logic 1 see here when door is opened a value is logic 1 when door is closed its value is logic 0 correct the second one ignition on is see we decide for on condition plus 5 volt correct that is logic 1 when it is turned off logic 0 b value is 0 correct similarly c value is 1 for uh, lights on c value is 0 for uh, lights off correct so these are the conditions we can uh, get from that circuit this is the condition we get from the circuit correct now based on this condition i have tried the combinations uh, given here the headlights are on see lights i have given the variable c correct c is on which is nothing but c equal to 1 correct so first condition when c is equal to 1 while the ignition is off correct so i'll make this a bolder so that you'll understand okay c is equal to one because uh, lights we consider the variable c c equal to one and while the ignition is off correct so while means we'll put and operator and then the ignition the ignition is given as the variable b correct so ignition is off means b value is equal to zero correct we have formed the um, conditions based on the condition we have formed the values of these variables correct similarly for the second case the door is open see the door is assigned as variable a a is open means logic one correct so a is equal to one and while the ignition is on correct so b is equal to on means its value is 1 correct so both the case ignition is b is equal to 1 in the first case b is off correct now we will take these two conditions for the form of the to form the truth table correct so to form the truth table i am going to take these two conditions okay uh, in design of combination circuit first step is deciding the number of input variable and output variable now we decided there are three input variables only one output variable i name this output variable as y correct so i have decided now all the things second step is uh, forming the truth table uh, for that truth table i need these two conditions correct i am taking these two conditions to write the output values now uh, for these conditions i decided a b c are the three input variables then i am going to write output okay so now first condition is c is equal to 1 and b equal to 0 that is b is equal to 0 and c equal to 1 correct where we'll get b equal to 0 see here we need a 0 1 combination uh, correct in bc so c column b and c only okay so here where it is 0 1 see here here i am getting b equal to 0 z then uh, 
uh, c is equal to 1, correct? So, I will put here output as 1, correct? Then b equal to 0, 1 here in this combination, I am getting b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 1, correct? This is one of the condition. Then a equal to 1 and b equal to 1. So, double one combination, I am getting here a equal to 1, b equal to 1, here only. So, only I will get 4 output. Here, I will get a equal to 1, the last one also. I am getting a equal to 1, b equal to 1, okay. So, I get only 4 output. What about the remaining? They are the uh, zeros, correct? So, I have to fill the remaining output as 0. Correct? So, so, we have to write the, once you form the truth table, then step 3 is, what is step 3? Hope you remember it. Step 3 is uh, getting the simplified expression, expression correct? Getting the... Um, Simplified expression from K map, correct? From K map. So, for that, uh, to use for K map, I need the mean terms, correct? What are the mean terms I am having? So, y is equal to uh, summation of m. What are the terms I am having? Uh, 1, 1, comma, 5, comma, 6, comma, 7. Correct. So, these are the mean terms I am having. So, for this I have to go for the K map. Clear? Mean terms um, are uh, filled with ones here in the K map. Correct. Now, we are going to um, group this. It is a three variable K map. Correct. We can make it as a pair here. Then again we can make it as another pair. So, we will write expression for this. Hmm. What is the expression for the first grouping? It is a pair, no? So, for, for this also we are going to write, okay? So, final answer is, for this grouping, uh, it is uh, B dash C, okay? For this one, A, uh, another common variable is B, okay? Finally, I can write the final expression as Y is equal to uh, B dash C plus a B. Correct? So, I am going to implement logic diagram for this one. Um, now, step 4 is implement using logic diagram. So, we have two terms B dash C plus A B. This is our final expression. Correct? A B, two variables are added together. So, I have used an AND gate. Correct? See here, the output is A B and then uh, A D, B dash C. So, B is connected to the inverter. So, I will get here B dash. Then C, both are given to the and gate. So, output is B dash C. The first and second term are odd together. Hence, I am connecting to a R gate. Okay. So, I will get the final answer as Y. Okay. Now, this is the final implementation logic diagram. Okay. So, in this problem, what I have done for the given statement, I just decided the number of uh, inputs and outputs and then for the given conditions, I have taken the output value, correct? Um, so, for C is equal to 1 and B equal to 0, Y value will be 1 like that. A equal to 1 and B equal to 1, Y value is equal to 1, correct? Like that, to form the truth table, I have taken the conditions given in the problem. So, based on that, I formed the truth table as it is a three variable input. I, I have written the possible combinations and the output is also written based on this condition, correct? The third step is you have to get the simplified expression Mm, using kmap, correct? So, I have uh, taken the mean terms from the truth table and uh, go for uh, uh, three variable kmap, get the expression. The fourth step is I have implemented using logic diagram. The final logic diagram is enough to give the alarm for the undesirable condition, correct? So, you can get in part C these type of questions. So, you must be aware to decide the number of input variables and based on the given conditions, how to write the output, okay? Thank you all for watching this.